His Royal Majesty Obaiwai II, while welcoming the British High Commissioner to Nigeria, Katriona Ling, and her entourage to his palace, said the visit is historic, especially now that the kingdom is clamoring for the return of all looted artifacts to the palace. The Benin monarch said Jesus College at the Cambridge University London, which in October this year, returned a Bini bronze cockerel to Nigeria after 124 years, said a precedence for other affected institutions to follow. He said plans are underway for the construction of the Bini Royal Museum to house the artifacts. That, uh, that Abaiwai also frowned at the manner and rate at which people are trafficked from the country to other countries, which is said can be tackled by deliberate efforts by the international community. The British High Commissioner to Nigeria, Katriona Lane, who was obviously pleased with the reception by the Oba of Benin, said she was in the palace to once again appreciate the leadership role. Oba of Benin is playing the promotion of the Benin cultural heritage and promised to convey his appeal to the appropriate quarters. And I was here to really um, express my um, thanks to him for his leadership on the people trafficking issues, which we work with very closely with the government of Benin and the Oba of Benin, and also his leadership on uh, Benin bronzes, which is a, a challenging issue, but one we are, I think, working constructively together on. And it was very interesting to hear his the history from him, including his contacts with um, the Prince Prince Charles, um, His Royal Highness, and uh, he asked me specifically to reconnect him with the Prince's Trust, a charity that does very good work, so I said I would do that. And we also talked about his um, grandfather meeting uh, Queen, our Queen when, when she visited here, I think it was in 1958. Also at the palace to see the Oba of Benin was the newly appointed president, World Medical Association, Dr. Sahon Inabulele, to seek his royal blessing to enable him to succeed in his new position. Deborah Ugefun reporting.